In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we can add images to a view controller to create a high fidelity layout. So let's get underway. So one of the first things you need to do is start by going to the main storyboard. In this case and this design, I'm actually going to design it on iPhone Pro or 11 Pro Max. So this gives me the largest screen resolution, so therefore I can lay objects out. To put an image onto the view controller or the stage, we actually need to add an object. To add the object, we need to actually add an image view. This is a container that allows us to put images onto the stage. So this is the area at the moment. Now, if I want a picture to appear in here, I need to actually put the image into my assets. So here is my asset folder here at the moment, there's nothing there. What I'm gonna do is add a image to it. And I'm just going to bring the information up on this. So I'm just going to go in and right mouse click and get info. And what you can see, this is just an edited graphic here of um, some of the Switch games. And we want to find out the information about this. You notice this is a PNG file. I like to work with PNG, JPEGs or GIFs. My favorite um, format is PNG. I find they work the best. You also notice its file size is fairly small at the moment. It's 649 kilobytes. You can also see that down in here with size. Some of the things I also look at is the more information in here it gives you dimensions. So it gives you a rough pixel size and it's RGB, etc. Um, it also has the alpha channel as well. So this gives us some, some basic information we're gonna to add to this application. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this now and I'm just gonna drag that image across and I'm just gonna let it go. Because I'm only putting one image in, this is a universal image. So this loads it into like a library at the moment. So when I go back to my main storyboard, you see I've got the image view container here, but at the moment there's no object in there. So if I go up to the images up here, I can then select the pull down list and you can see Mario Smash. And when I select that, the object gets added to the stage. Then I can actually move that image around, container around and put it into an area that is within the safe zone. So it's a good idea to work within this blue container. Anything outside of it is not in a safe area. So that's how we can add an object. Now, if we want to scale this object and stretch it out, etc., we can do so. Also by selecting it, you can change its view. So it's got aspect fit at the moment. You've also got scaled and there's other options in here as well. So you can control it. If you're looking at changing the background image of the screen, this is something a little bit different to have a gradient background, I can actually go on the internet and download a gradient background. So if I go to cool gradient backgrounds, you can see all these images appear here. I can just go into images and go through and find one that I like and just select that. So it doesn't matter if it's too large, etc. So if I select this one here, I can then right mouse click, save this to my desktop. I go and save image as. On my desktop, I'm just going to call it background. And you notice that it was a JPEG. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my assets once more. And then I'm going to drag that into here and let it go. And you can see that the backgrounds come up here. So to put a background in, I'm going to add another image viewer. And then I'm just going to stretch that out to be the full width of my phone. Now, once I've done that, I can then add an image to that. So I can select on the down arrow, pick the background, and then I can change its fit to scale to fit. Now, you notice that the stacking order is a little bit different where the Mario Smash is in the wrong spot. So if I click background and bring it to the top area, you notice it changes the stacking order. So now we actually have a GUI being built. So once again, you can still test it by going to the, to the simulator and building the project. And now you can see the view controller or storyboard on a working device. You can also add buttons as well. So you can click and drag a button out. And when you select the button, you can actually go through and work with an image, etc., text colors, background colors. So you can play with the button to create a more impressive button 
or you can actually create them via a website. So if you go to a website like cooltext.com, if you head to the last page, you can actually see there's buttons here. So still cool, and you can select that button, change its text, so you can actually have in there, you can put specials, and then if you click on the button, you can change the colors and things like that. So once you've done that, you can save the image at the top by going right mouse click and save image as, and then once again, import that into your Xcode project. So by doing this, you'll be able to create a more interesting layout for your applications and create high fidelity mockups for your clients. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like. Also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Xcode videos.